This is the Landini Rex 120 GT, and it may be the most established specialised tractor on the market. However, this is its younger brother, the Rex 4 100 GT, and it's looking to take its crown. We brought over wine connoisseur and farm trader NZ specialist, Jaden Drought, and what better place to test these two out than in Victoria's very own Mornington Peninsula, and we're gonna have one hell of a time. Here, we've got the Rex 120 GT. This has got the 4.4 litre, four cylinder Perkins engine. That's coupled to a 40 speed transmission. 111 horsepower is the maximum from the engine. We've got an 80 litre a minute pump. So this one's got three spools out the back, as well as a hydraulic top link and a right hand levelling arm. So that makes hitching on implements nice and easy. It's got the two speed PDO. It's very easy to operate in the cab. Visibility all round is nice. I mean, I'm a big guy, I've got plenty of headroom. The one piece doors in the four pillar cab make entry into a compact tractor quite simple and easy. We've got wing mirrors, which makes visibility of the sprayer or whatever you might have on behind very good. Uh, the tuning circle is actually a lot better than what I was anticipating. So the other Rex 4 has some upgraded features, but there's definitely uh, still a place uh, for this tractor in these type of applications. I couldn't let Jaden get his hands on the brand spanker this time. Righto, we're here with the new Italian stallion from Landini. This is their brand new Rex 4 100 GT. Under the bonnet we've got a 2.9 litre four cylinder engine from Deutz. 100 horsepower and oh, ample amount of torque. The Landini Rex 4 is probably the equivalent of a, of a Jack Russell dog. It's small, it's yappy, but geez, it goes all right. In terms of all your controls, like they should be, they're all ergonomically located on your right hand side. A great feature on the new Rex 4, and that's it's pretty much its cruise control. So when you're working here in the vines and your rows, it's basically controlling your engine speed and your PTO speed for a cleaner and a better coverage of your vines. While I'm not overly uh, large, Jaden, our big lanky friend over from New Zealand, is a lot taller, but um, for a big giant like him, uh, he's, he's commented on how, how big and spacious this cabin is. Uh, my spine isn't sticking out of the top of my head yet, so that's always a bonus. Like many tractors, you can set the modulation speed on the shuttle, but here uh, you can change the speeds on the onboard computer here, which is a really good feature for the Landini Rex 4. A little unconventional, but I think it's time we had a bit of fun with our two little Mediterranean friends. Pedal to the metal, a race around the vineyard, that should do the trick. versus New Zealand, I've had enough of this bloke. Final corner, come on, here we go. Oh, it's close. <laughs> oh, I reckon I've beaten him here. Sucker. I think it's time for a quick celebratory drink. Well, my man, I'm a bit sunburnt, but uh, that's an Aussie win for us in our second edition of the Trans-Tasman Battle. The better man won, mate. I'm not going to lie, mate. I think there was blatant cheating. <laughs> Classic <laughs> underarm incident from you Aussies. You might have beaten me the Rex 4, but Landini, they've got the new 4 Series coming out. Bigger, better, faster, stronger, mate. She's got the bigger cab, larger frame tractor, bigger tyres, and the all-important bigger engine. So... Until next time, mate. Mate, quit your sookin and let's just enjoy our lovely glass of Pinot Noir right. from Muraduck Estate. Fair play, mate. Cheers, mate. Until next time. To winning. Winning. <laughs>